hello everyone, Cole Hatter here with Vampire the Masquerade, the vampire RPG based off the tabletop game. This came out in 2004, I believe, developed by Troikia, published by Activision. Uh, I am playing this with the unofficial patch, I'll try and link that in the description if I remember. Uh, I have played this up to a few points because it is really difficult, so let's try again. The world of darkness is a place where mortal monsters pull the strings of humanity. Violence and despair are common here. The world is bleak, but escape is an ever-present commodity. Perhaps too present. Dun dun dun! Creating your character, would you like to answer a series of questions about the type of vampire you would like to play and allow the game to create your character? Or go directly to the sheet, character sheet and select your character's clan's attributes and blah 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 yourself? Uh, I'll go with number one. I've never done it before, so female. Uh, you're in a convenience store. Oh god, this is taking too much time. Looking through the beer freezer. You can't buy beer in a, in a convenience store where I live. When all of a sudden a man walks in, pulls a gun on the cashier. Do you sneak behind him? Sorry, I'm presumed to beat him senseless. Um, in a video game, that's what I would do. But in real life, I would probably do that. <laughs> Meet someone at a club and they took you back to their place. Things started getting interesting. Blah, blah, blah. It's their spouse. Do you? This is shit. <laughs> Let's pick one. I hope I can go back. Bruja. Uh. What? What? Oh, shit. I should probably be paying attention to all of this. This is a disaster! No! Cancel! Yes! That was awful! <laughs> Let's try this again! A uh, new game starts creating a new character. Would you like to- I will go directly to the character sheet and set up my character's nonsense. Alright. Edith. That's a- oh, that was the last character I named. I will go with Cole. Gender. I am a lady. Thank you very much. Alright, now, choosing your clan uh, inadvertently chooses how difficult the game is. For instance, uh, Nosferatu, you are very ugly, so you can't walk upon the surface. So you have to just travel through, um, what is it, the sewers. And that you miss a lot of side quests and stuff like that. And the, I think it's the Aventure, I want to say? Uh, yeah, they're hoity-toity high class, so in the sewers, you, where would you would be able to drink the blood of rats, as opposed to people, they won't do that. So it's kind of difficult, so you have to venture outside, risk being seen drinking someone. Um, Malkavian and stuff changes the like dialogue options, occasionally crazy shit will happen because they're nuts, as are their jiggle physics. I've never noticed that. Uh, I usually go with Tremere, 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 because this chick looks exactly how I look in real life. Crazy cool glasses and everything, skirt, impractical shoes, love it. All right, so. Tremere, blood sorcerers born from mystic rituals and Diablaire. The Tremere are the latest, or the least trusted of the Camarilla clans. The, rit the ritual the Tremere used to transform from lizard mages into undying monsters stripped them of their magic arts. To compensate, the vampires of the clan developed Thaumaturgy, the powerful discipline of blood magic. The clan guards its secrets jealously. Can you guard secrets jealously? And are the only kindred to wield this powerful discipline. The, dis the pursuit of arcane knowledge comes before all, before all else. And the reliance upon it has weakened the bloodline. Tremere can raise no physical attribute above four points. So yeah, obviously. Uh, pick a history. Old-timer, medicine saleswoman, bar singer, seductress. Uh, all this obviously affects our stats. You're an old-fashioned type. Don't care about all this new technology. This will cost you more to raise your computer knowledge. But start with the bonus and scholarship and stuff like that. So I am going to go with... I forget which is the ones I went with last time. Uh, Titan's Warfare. Uh, 
Uh, that is useless because I don't get physical above four. Ultra oh, infernal. Four bears paid an awful price in their request for power. And advanced in thermity to cost you less experience, but our specs has half the duration you may raise. Oh, I want that. Dear future Cole, we'll cut this all down. Alright, I'm just gonna pick no history because they all don't really fit into my playstyle, which is sneak, sneaky, sneaky around because I'm a coward. Alright, now we get to pick this. How much do we have? Three attributes, uh, six abilities, one difference. So I'm going to put this all into. Mm, blood magic. Da -da -da. Blood purge. Enemy will become finally ill. Vomiting blood. Damage of both normal and supernatural foes. What do I get now? Uh, blood strike. Mm -hmm. Someone's calling me. Uh, hmm. Fusion of the coal. Cut this down as well. <laughs> Alright, this is all my, my, this is my character sheet. These are my, uh, physical, social, and mental attributes, my abilities, talents, skills, knowledge, and my disciplines, which are my special super ultra vampire powers. Uh, I have one, uh, to go into any of these, so aspects, 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 enhances your mental faculties and allow you to see the auras of those around you. Uh, this is so I can see where, like, if someone's on the other side of a door and I activate this, I can see their outline right before they come in and bash my skull in. Uh, dominate. It's basically mind control. Um, yeah. Uh, th this is my clan's special ability. I can control blood. So right now, level one, I have blood strike. Just throw blood at someone. It, it gets all over their clothes. They get all grossed out and they leave. Uh, but number two is they get sick, for, I guess, from the the blood all over their clothes, and they just vomit. So I'm going to do that. And uh, I don't have any social abilities. I would like to put it in charisma, because as you can see, what's being highlighted over there in feats, it puts persuasion up. And there is a path in the game that I would like to take that requires high persuasion. So... I've only played up to this a certain point, so I know a little bit of what to do. Um, let's see, physical, dexterity, sneaking, lock picking, stamina, strength. Hmm. I'm gonna go with dexterity because I do a lot of sneaking, and there is a lot of sneaking in this game, whether you like it or not. Whether you are a Nosferatu who are well equipped for sneaking, or you know, a Bruja who is not well equipped for sneaking. You will have to sneak. Alright, perception. Research. What's. Mm, I'm gonna go with intelligence. I think research is how, if you pick up, like, uh, skill. skill books. Like, how. if you can use them or not. Um, ranged. Inspection. Wits. Defense. Gonna go with wits and defense. Oh dear, so ability brawl, dodge, intimidation, subdiffuge. Hmm. Measure your character's ability to conceal their motives and deceive others. Need that for seduction. Do -do 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 -do. Intimidation. I guess I'll go with dodge and intimidation. Uh, firearms, melee, security, stealth. I'm gonna go with melee. Melee, melee. Learn how to speak English. Knowledges, uh, computer, computer hacking skills, finance and haggling skills, inspection, scholarship. Gotta go with that one. Gonna need hacking. Um, I guess another scholarship. Why not? Auto level is off. I always play with auto level off because it messes up what I'm doing here. 
my awesome, completely awesome. I have people yelling at me right now. Don't do this. What's wrong with you? Okay, but I'm just going to accept. Ready? Go. Good evening, my fellow kindred. My apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that, that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening.